The Candlewick Pouring Pot Kit comes complete with the tools and materials needed to produce six beautiful votive candles. The kit includes one large pouring pot, one thermometer, a one pound bag of granulated white paraffin wax, one sheet to produce vanilla scent and ivory color, three clear plastic votive cups, nine wick assemblies, as well as written instructions. In addition to the materials included in the kit, you will also need household scissors, a flat pot holder or trivet, a kitchen pot large enough to comfortably fit the pouring pot, a heat source capable of bringing water to a boil, a chopstick or similar item for stirring the wax, a shallow container to hold the votive cups, a pie plate or a small disposable aluminum pan will work well, a paper towel on which to place the thermometer and the chopstick after use, wooden popsicle sticks to hold the wicks in place, Popsicle sticks with small holes drilled in them work the best. The kit allows you to make three votive candles at a time and reserve the extra wax with color and scent in the pouring pot to make additional candles once the first batch is finished. To get started, place the three votive cups in the shallow container. Using the scissors, cut open the bag of granulated wax and empty its entire contents into the pouring pot. Fill the kitchen pot with one to one and a half inches of water. Place it on the heat source, set to high. The kitchen pot will be acting like the base of a double boiler to melt the wax. Once the water has come to a boil, drop the heat down to a low simmer. After making sure the water is no longer boiling, place the pouring pot into the kitchen pot. The pouring pot may want to float up a little bit and that's okay, just steady it so it doesn't spill. Using the chopstick, stir the wax until it's completely melted. Clip the thermometer to the top edge of the pouring pot. To get accurate temperature readings, make sure the bottom of the thermometer doesn't contact either the side or the bottom of the pouring pot, but that its tip is submerged in the melted wax. You may need to tilt the pouring pot to accomplish this. Monitor the temperature of the wax. When it reaches 180 degrees Fahrenheit, Break up the color and scent sheet and carefully drop the pieces into the pouring pot so as not to splash hot wax. Continue stirring until the sheet is completely dissolved and the liquid wax is of a uniform color. Once again, make sure the wax is at 180 degrees Fahrenheit. You are now ready to pour. Turn the heat source off. Remove the thermometer from the pouring pot and place it on the paper towel. Get hold of the pouring pot by the handle and slowly pour the melted wax into one of the votive cups. You want to fill the cup all the way to the top without overflowing. Once the wax cools, it will shrink to well below the edge of the cup. Repeat the pouring process with the two remaining votive cups. Place the pouring pot with the unused wax onto the pot holder or trivet to cool. With all three cups filled, you'll have five minutes before the wick assemblies need to be put into place. If you've drilled holes in your popsicle sticks, prepare the wick assembly by inserting the wick into the hole and allowing the stick to slide down to the wick's base. Get hold of the wick by the tip end. Lower the assembly into the cup so the popsicle stick contacts the edge and the metal tab drops all the way to the center of the cup's bottom. The stick should then hold the wick upright in the center of the candle. Sticks without holes can be used to simply brace the wick in the proper position. As the wax in each votive mold begins to cool, it will harden and shrink. In about 30 to 45 minutes, a well will develop around the wick. When this happens, it's time for the second pour. Remove the popsicle stick as it's no longer needed. Repeat the process of heating the remaining wax to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the thermometer and turn off the heat source. Carefully pour your second layer of wax into the well around the wick and then continue filling the votive until the wax reaches the top edge of the cup. Place the pouring pot back on the pot holder and allow the votives to cool and completely solidify for approximately two hours. 
At this point, the candles should have contracted enough so they will easily release from the molds. Gently pull up on the wick. If the candle doesn't come out, try pressing around the outside of the votive mold with your hand. If this doesn't work, place it in the refrigerator for 15 minutes and give it another try. Now you should once again have three empty molds and can repeat the entire process to make three more votive candles. Or you can simply set the wax aside right in the pouring pot so you'll have enough to make additional candles at a later date. The kit's pouring pot and thermometer can be reused to create a wide range of candles in a variety of compositions, colors, sizes, and scents simply by using different materials. Visit the Candlewick website to find additional supplies, equipment, and ideas.